So did anyone watch football last night? If you didn't, if you didn't, uh, uh, one of the best games was that Iceland won uh, Holland 1-0. Oh. Give them a good hand. And, and uh, uh, if you, you might know that Iceland is just 300,000 people and, and uh, Dutch are 17 millions. And, and you might say, well, well, that sounds lucky, doesn't it? But if you think about it, uh, uh, Iceland has gone up 60 places in the FIFA list up to the 23rd. So it's above France now. So it's about consistency, isn't it? It's not luck so much. And it's, I mean, about competitiveness, I think, too. And it's like, I mean, in Iceland, it's amazing how many, many strong men are there. They win the competition of the strongest men in the world and the most beautiful women in the world. It's authentic. Look at this. I rest my case. I mean, it's a harsh environment, Iceland. It's a really harsh environment, glaciers and, 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 and volcanic eruptions and so forward. And, and out of this environment comes a serial entrepreneur who exited, already exited from one of the coolest startups in Iceland. He's no stranger to beauty and strength. Just a great guy with a game-changing business idea. And it's not about luck, it's about consistency, competitiveness, and authenticity. Please welcome the CEO of Authentic, Kauri Thor Runarsson. Thank you, Thor. <laughs> I feel a bit small now. She's Icelandic, by the way. But this profile is not real. It's about as fake as her cleavage. The people that rented this apartment used fake IDs to rent this apartment on Airbnb. And this seller on eBay has over 30 profiles that are selling fake goods or stolen. With today's technology, it's so easy to create new identities and hide behind fake profiles. And the police have no idea how to handle this. I know this personally because I was scammed for $1,000 two years ago, and the police literally told me that there's nothing that I can do about it, and I should just forget it. I think that in two, three years, we'll look back on how we're doing business on marketplaces and compare it to meeting a person, a stranger, in a dark alleyway where you give him your hard-earned cash and he gives you back an unmarked package that you can't even open until he's vanished into the darkness of cyberspace. This is the way most websites combat this identity problem with social connect buttons. But did you know that for $150, you can buy a network of 100 fully functional and verified Facebook profiles? So this is pretty much useless. That's why we're making Authentic, an automatic identity verification and reputation management platform that's faster, more reliable, and more cost-effective than other solutions out there. The process is very simple, even, the, even though the technology behind it is pretty complex. The user downloads the authentic app, uses it to take a picture, a selfie of herself, then places her phone on top of her passport, where we use wireless NFC technology to retrieve information such as name, birthday, and her photo. We then use sophisticated facial recognition algorithms to compare those two photos to make sure it's the same person, and do over 50 other security checks to make sure that the person and the documents are real and authentic, that the phone and software haven't been tampered with, and so forth. If everything checks out, we issue her an authentic ID that she can use while doing business online while keeping her privacy. 
For users of our partner websites, they only have to go through this quick verification process once because Authentic works across multiple websites. In addition, we calculate the user's reputation score when she's using these websites to increase the trust and transparency even more. We have an experienced team behind Authentic. Runar has over 20 years experience in IT security and is the only person in this world who has implemented a nationwide electronic ID scheme in two countries. Myself, as previously mentioned, have been in sales and marketing for a long time and have two successful exits from startups. Our first market is the peer-to-peer -peer or sharing economy. This segment has seen tremendous growth in these last years, whether you're looking at turnover or investment focus. It's estimated that collectively there are over 1 billion end users in the collective economy, and they all need an authentic ID. So, it's a huge market, but is the problem big enough? According to a recent study by PricewaterhouseCoopers, 69% of people said that they had an issue with trusting and putting their trust in these marketplaces. And this has been confirmed by many, many other studies. We've also conducted user interviews with marketplaces, and this is a typical response we get when we talk to potential customers. They realize the need and express interest in using the product once it's finished. The revenue model is simple. We charge the marketplace a small recurring fee for each authentic ID user. We start with mid-tier marketplaces, which are usually small but funded startups. This means that the path to the decision makers within the companies is only a phone call or email away, shortening sales times from months to weeks. There's only a handful of companies that are trying to solve this issue of trust, especially using real identities. It's important to notice, though, that there's still no large or dominant player in this market and we differentiate ourselves by offering the most secure and reliable sign-up process, as well as a unique reputation score that's based on real identities. We're seeking 250,000 euros to move fast and secure the market while it's still unclaimed. And we already have 50,000 committed. We want to scale a team to speed up development and make a big marketing and networking push that will reach our first 500,000 ID users within the first 90 days after launch. So just to recap, we have an awesome solution on a growing market with a huge problem made by an experienced team. And unlike that dating profile at the beginning, this is a real chance for one of you to get lucky. Thank you.